High water signs Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that you're so drawn to each other. So for those of you that are involved with someone special, okay, whether you're in a relationship with this energy, or even if you just you guys are just loosely involved with one another, we want to know why are you so drawn? Why is this so magnetic? Um, what's going on here we'll see what the cards have to say as always this is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind if you are after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire I will list my email address below the video here so let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle and let's focus on why is it that you're so drawn you're both so drawn to each other or why is it that perhaps you're so drawn to them, or vice versa? Okay, we have the High Priestess here and the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords here. Okay, the Seven of Cups, the Devil, and Justice. Okay, you have the Devil here that's made an appearance in your spread. It's no wonder you guys are so magnetically drawn to each other. There's definitely a strong energy here that attracts you. It's like a moth or insects to a flame kind of energy. Strong sense of like a sexual attraction here or strong sense of a sexual energy in which the, there's a lot of chemistry. This chemistry feels very palpable and it's often perceptible by other energies. So when you're with each other, other people can notice just how drawn you are to one another or how attracted you are to one another. Okay, it's definitely perceived by connecting energies around you here. Now, this connection that you share with this person feels very intoxicating, guys, which can be dangerous grounds that you might be walking on. It may be a bit of an obsession here. You may find yourself obsessively thinking about this energy, constantly wanting to be with them, wanting to hear from them, wanting to spend some time with them. That's There's nothing wrong in wanting to be very close to someone and wanting to you know spend some time and really get to know them intimately. There's nothing wrong with that. But when your thoughts become very obtrusive, when your thoughts become very invasive and when you spend a lot of time of the day just thinking about them, okay, when you find that thoughts like thoughts of them constantly hijack your mind this is when it becomes unhealthy because your energies then become so distracted and you can't focus on anything except them for a lot of you this is what you're experiencing when you're um you know when you think about this individual or this is what you're experiencing almost always constantly because it does feel intoxicating it does feel consuming it does feel addictive and it feels good here it feels good when you're with them you know it feels good thinking about them Okay, which is why I feel like for a lot of you, be careful because it could be dangerous grounds you walk on because it does feel a bit obsessive in a sense. Now, I also feel like this is how they feel about you as well. There's this, you know, there's this addictive uh, quality to this energy or to, to you that they feel here. There's also an air of mystery that's around someone. So whether this is you or connecting energy that's coming up with the high priestess, and mystery can be very alluring, okay? If someone is shrouded in a sense of mystery, it can be like an allure. Someone is coming across as mysterious, as enigmatic, and it's like you want to get to know them more, okay? Um, or perhaps this is how you're coming across to this individual, and this is, you know, what's attracting and what's gravitating to them towards you, them towards you even more. It's just you're shrouded in mystery, and you know, it, it's a part of your charm, it's a part of your allure, and they want to get to know you better. Similarly, if this is you, then, you know, you definitely want to get to know your person better, because there's a lot of, there's this enigma, which you're definitely um, enticed by, right? I'm also seeing that for some of you, this is, now, either you have ended things with this individual, or the two of you may have separated in the past, or you guys are maybe currently in a state of separation, or in a state of disconnection. 
perhaps this is someone who might have rejected you before or perhaps this is someone who has hurt you before now for some of you i can definitely see that you know this obsession that we spoke about earlier i feel like a lot of that is fueled by rejection by the fact that this person has rejected you or by the fact that this person has ended things as indicated by the ten of swords the eerie stillness of this card and the energy of this card definitely indicates a strong sense of finality to this connection here so the fact that for a lot of you the reason why you can't get over them is as well you've had a lot of visions okay now you're a water energy you're all about visions and um seeing things that may sometimes not always be there so for a lot of you you've definitely held and attached yourself to a lot of visions and possibilities and potentials that this connection holds unfortunately things ended prematurely for some of you and all of those visions that you've so strongly attached yourself to you know just drifted out into sea so for a lot of you you're still in your mind you're still playing out the memories of not only what were but what could have been and I feel like that's making it so much harder for you to stop thinking about this person or for you to pull away from this energy. Because, you know, what could have been, could have been wonderful, right? Could have been great. Um, could have been everything you've ever wanted, especially in the realms of your imagination. So, again, for a lot of you, it's this obsessiveness. Now, for some of you, you've also placed this this person. The reason why I feel like you're so into them okay and it's so addictive and it's so obsessive is you've placed this person on a pedestal you may be romanticizing this individual and the situation so what i mean here is a lot of the times when you do fantasize a person or a thing we begin to see that person or that situation so much better than they actually are so for a lot of you i feel like what might help with this obsessiveness is just you know remove them from the pedestal a little bit and see things as they are and i'm not saying things as they are aren't great but it will benefit you if you see the situation as it is and not necessarily as you want it to be now for some of you there is karmic justice so whatever he has transpired between you and this individual especially for those of you who can relate when I say that there's been an ending or a separation or a disconnection, it's important to, for you to know that this is, it could be you here, guys. It could be you paying your karmic dues, your karmic debts, you know, getting them cleared and getting them all paid off. Or maybe this is your individual paying their karmic debts or their karmic dues and getting all of that, you know, cleared here. So I am getting a sense of karmic um, karmic dues here getting paid off. There's also this strong sense of cause and effect here. Um, also for someone here I feel like needed to make or needs to make a decision and I feel like this person is sitting on the fence about it the the quicker that you apply yourself to a decision whether it's a decision to walk away or whether it's a decision to reconcile the sooner you will get momentum and the sooner you will see progressive action here okay so for a lot of you and I feel like this is you though you're the one that's coming up as you need to decide now what's your decision well, it's going to be different for all of you because you're not all the same person and you're not all dealing with the same situation. Some of you need to decide to cut ties and walk away. Some of you need to decide to release this person. Some of you need to decide to, you know, get back your sense of power, your sense of individuality because you're too co-reliant on this person. So some of you, I feel like you need to make a decision. And here's the thing, that decision that you decide on, I feel like is going to lead to your destiny. So there you have it, guys, um, a very intense, a lot of emotional intensity, a very strong sense of attraction here, a strong um, sexual energy, perhaps even a twin flame connection here, perhaps, okay, but I feel like you are definitely destined. This person is your karma, that's the best way of describing it, so if you've done good or if you've done bad, I feel like this person is your karma, guys. Similarly, you could be theirs. So thanks guys for watching and tuning in. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. For those of you wanting a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, take care guys. Bye for now.